Hey y'all, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday, June 11th, and today I am going to be filming a keto full day of eating vlog. So today marks day seven of my vacation slim down, and I am up 0.4 pounds this morning, which is fine. You can't lose weight every single day. It's just frustrating because I'm less than one pound away from hitting a new weight loss low. Maybe we'll make that happen tomorrow. We'll see what my body does. However, right now I'm about to head out the door and go to CrossFit. The workout today looks pretty intense. It's going to be three rounds of a 500 meter row, 12 burpees, and then 21 box jump overs. So I'm going to have to exert a ton of energy and it's going to beat me up pretty badly. Before I go work out, I'm gonna have one of these perfect keto almond butter brownie keto bars. I wanna have a little bit of something in my system before I go and do this super intense workout. I figured this is something small enough that it won't make me sick when I go work out, but it'll give me some substance in my body. And yeah, time to eat this, head out the door, and go get my workout on. I just got home from CrossFit a little while ago, and that workout was brutal it took me about 17 minutes of constant work to get it done and man it kicked my booty but i felt so accomplished to get it done and my endurance is definitely getting better but i still have a ways to go but i was pretty proud of my performance in that workout even if it was slower than you know most of the class it is an improvement for me and that is all that matters now, I think I'm going to take my little nugget to the dog park, let him go run around for a little while, and then I may have a couple of errands to run. So, time to take this little nugget right here. You want to go to the park? Do you want to go to the park? Ooh, yeah, he always has to stretch when you say park. Oh, he's the cutest boy ever. All right, we're going to the park. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Are you ready? Yes, go get it. Someone made a mistake and is very sad about it. He put his ball on the other side of the fence. You ready? Go get it. Just look at him go. Look at him go. He like soccer kicks it around the entire park. Here we have a very sad Cocker Spaniel who has to sit in the bathtub for 10 minutes with this medicated shampoo all over his body. And oh, he is not a happy camper, but I've been working it all into his little scabs on his skin. And yeah, you would think that this is the most terrible thing in the world. Just look at those sad eyes. Just look at it. Tell them, Bobo. Is it sad? It's so painful. But you need it, buddy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me keep scrubbing this in. He's trying to look for an escape route right now. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. It's okay. Let's just scratch that into that neck skin. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My problem lately is that I get busy and just haven't been that hungry and then I forget to eat. So I just looked at the clock and all of a sudden it is four o'clock and your girl needs to eat a meal now so I can eat dinner later as well because I'm definitely trying to keep those calories up and not eat far too few calories because when I fast all day like this, it is very, very easy to not eat enough and not properly fuel your body. So I just rummaged through the fridge, found something that I can make for my first meal of the day. So let me show you what I am eating. 
Here is my first actual meal of the day. So it's pretty much just leftovers from yesterday, but I like to eat leftovers out of the fridge as quick as possible or I'm more likely to waste them. So right here I have a pork sausage link and then a half of a link as well. And then over here, this is a piece of tri-tip that we grilled. And I think there's a little bit of fat in it, so I'm going to have to cut that out. Over here, I made a little salad to go with it. So in the salad, it's just some like chopped lettuce that I got at the store. I put in some bacon bits, some sunflower kernels, and then I topped it with this Organicville olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette. So I must say, this is really not my favorite vinaigrette that I've tried. It's okay, just not my favorite, but yeah. So I used a little bit of that on my salad. So I'm about to go dig in, fuel my body, and eat some food. I have someone right here who is desperately hoping he gets some of it too. And I hate to break it to him, but he doesn't get any of it. I just threw a pile of towels and blankets on the couch to fold and put away in a minute. And I looked over and saw a little bow just chilling in all of it. Do you like the warm towels? I love a warm towel too, but I don't love when a stinky dog lays on my clean towels. Hey buddy, what you think you're doing? I just ran to the grocery store to grab stuff for dinner and I picked up this Buy Strawberry Lemonade and this drink is actually super good, especially because all I've had is like water for the past week, barely anything besides that. So it does have six grams of carbs in it, but five grams is erythritol, which doesn't affect your blood sugar. So basically just one gram of carbs and it's so good. It hit the spot because I wanted something sweet and this is so good. I just ran up to the grocery store to grab stuff for dinner. Cody and I decided on spaghetti, so spaghetti is what I got. I got a pound of ground beef, and then for my noodles tonight, I'm going to try these tofu shirataki spaghetti noodles. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's like three grams of carbs per serving, two grams of fiber, so there's not much to them at all. But I wanted to give these a try. I wanted something other than zucchini noodles because I just want something in my diet that's not a green veggie tonight. And then I picked up these Italian meatballs. I kind of wanted some sort of meatball to go with dinner. So I may put a couple of these in my spaghetti. I'm not sure. I grabbed some spaghetti sauce. I've never tried this one, but it looks good. Got some easy veggies, just a steam and bag of broccoli spears. And then I got Cody some spaghetti noodles because he requested actual noodles. So yeah, grab stuff for dinner. Just looked over here to see Bo doing this. Trying to suck on this giant stuffed chicken. <laughs> He's so funny. You got it, Bo. Did you find a place to suck on? All right. Well, I'll just leave you be. We are getting started on our spaghetti dinner. So I have a pound of ground beef and I'm going to just pop this in a pan and brown it. To the ground beef, I am going to add some of this all-purpose seasoning as well as some of this Italian seasoning. The spaghetti sauce is done. So what I did was brown the ground beef, add in my jar of sauce, and then I cooked the meatballs in the oven and then just decided to throw them in here as well. And then for my noodles, which are these tofu spaghetti noodles, I boiled them for three minutes and then I dry fried them in the bottom of this pan for like five. And supposedly that's supposed to make them taste better. So going to use these noodles, put some of this on it, and it should be delicious, I hope. I fixed my plate and now I will let you know how it tastes. Well guys, it is actually the next day now and I have to let y'all know that those noodles sucked. I did not enjoy them at all. They were so chewy that it just grossed me out. So I ate the meatballs and the meat sauce and ate like 
just a couple of the noodles. I was so disappointed. I was so looking forward to it and it just was not good. I should have stuck to my gut, done some spiralized zucchini and just went on with my day because I would have enjoyed that so much more. But it is what it is. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's keto vlog. Had a good day, ate some decent food, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah. Also, here's Bobo right here. Say hi, Bobos. Say hi.